Hello again. Um, this is my third blog now and it's actually been uh, just over a week since I uh, recorded and uploaded the last one and I mean the first thing really to say is how much incredible inertia <laughs> I've really had over the last week that even you know just really getting such a strong sense of how my identity that part of me that that wants to say stay safe and stay in the unknown still manages a lot of the time to to direct my attention and and my behavior and uh, and what I do and um, I've actually noticed that even though I went through that incredible uh, death and resurrection process last week, I've actually had a lot of fear coming up for me in the last few days. And, and what became really clear to me suddenly yesterday, this, like this little epiphany, was that I was still identifying with my identity, which makes sense when you haven't done too much work around greatness and identity and the difference between the two and how they sit and, and, and work with each other. So I suddenly got this understanding that my identity was creating fear from my fear-based belief and I was buying that. I was thinking that this is who I was and I was being motivated by, by that fear and motivated into inertia. And the moment that I got that little light bulb moment, things actually started to change and it was it came through me doing my intuition sessions, my tuning into the vision of what my heart would really love, tuning into the current reality of where I actually am in relationship to that vision, and then tuning into the obvious next step, the bridge that I would need to take. And, uh, and I've just had, oh, it's just been an amazing journey. And I really want to make sure that I don't only do these blogs when I'm on a high, that you also see the times when I'm really struggling and really stuck in my identity and really feeling like I'm actually a complete fuck up, really. Um, but today I don't feel like that. I feel very blessed and, uh, and inspired and excited by, by my life right now. Um, but I do want to share some insights that I've had, which, other people who know me might well go, ah, oh, at last, at last, she's got that. But first of all, I didn't realise how much me being part of a team with Darren, before Darren with Copper Strings, um, is, is part and parcel of a strategy for me to feel like I'm being given permission by a parental type figure to follow this path. That was a huge one. That really shifted me into a much greater sense of my own sovereignty, that I create my own life. And my identity's going, Ooh, no, really, really, are you sure? But I can feel that in my greatness. Yeah, sure I do, which is really, really cool. So yes, I have been looking for external permission to live the life that I'd, that I'd really love. Um, what's so fascinating is that where I am right now is where I have wanted to be but never had the courage to be for about 30 years. All the books that I've read about people who just let go of their of, of the structure of their life and just follow their hearts and, and you know written myriad books and I've read those and read those and thought wow I would so love to do that and not because I thought I needed money first or mastery or something first and now suddenly this is exactly where I am and it's exhilarating and terrifying in fairly equal measure throughout the period of a day or a week. Um, and I think that, that that's probably really all I need to say is that is that really, is that I'm exactly where I want to be, exactly. And that's amazing. And that's just amazing. I would encourage everybody to get a sense of this place where you're just exactly where you want to be in the moment. Thanks, I'll speak to you again soon, bye.